Hey everybody, I thought I'd show you what I got. 1995 Chevy Camaro. It's my new car. Uh, I got it for 600 bucks. Absolutely no rust in this bad boy. Got it for 600 not running because you need a water pump. Put a new water pump on it and then it did the old classic. Uh, started leaking out the timing chain. So I had to take the whole front off the motor, pretty much, to get to the timing chain gasket, to redo the gaskets, and that's all the stuff that you see on the ground there, including air intake, which I want to put a cold air intake in it, uh, Optima battery, really, really clean car, I don't know if you can be able to see it or not, I'll turn this on, maybe you will be able to, I don't know. How clean it is under there. But as you can see, that panel is in great condition. Uh, oh crap, sorry about that, guys. That was my flap on my case. Piece of shit. I'll hold it back. So, uh, yeah, interior. is got a rip in the seats I don't know if you can tell but it's got a couple cracks in the dash uh, seats are stained it's got 166,000 on it very good shaped car got some aftermarket wheels on it I don't know who makes them uh, they're nice it's a T-top edition. Uh, T-tops do not leak. Uh, it's yes, it is Camaro. Backup or good. I want to get the Euro style tail lights and the Euro style third brake light and turn signals. I'd like to get a body kit for it. Uh, I need to re-stick that. And here's the only dents I found on it. I don't know if you can see. It, but I'm gonna have to turn this back on again. Uh, is down here. It's the only bad spot I've seen. Uh, probably in the exhaust. I wouldn't doubt it. But other than that, it's really clean underneath. And the fender wells. It's all still got undercoating. By them and the wheels. Good wheels. Uh, the only good tire on it. This tire is not that old. Uh, it needs pretty much all the tires, which are going to be expensive on those wheels. Uh, yeah, but other than that, it is a good car. Really clean. Uh, no rust, which I which I like a lot. The interior is okay, except for that rip in the seat. I'm going to get uh, new seat covers put on it. Uh, this does also need a heater core and a driver's side window regulator and some brakes. Uh, I don't know if you can tell, but yeah, you can tell. Now it ate into the brake on the side. The passenger side is not bad, but sorry about that. It's not a bad car. Good shape. Really good shape car. Uh, yeah, runs good when it runs, but it does need a tune-up, which is what I'm gonna give it. Why I have everything off and I can easier, easier get to the plugs, easier with all that stuff off. Uh, yeah, there's the new water pump I put on upside down. Need to clean the rest of the gasket off of it. Alternator. I'm thinking of putting a 200 amp alternator on this because I want to put a system in it, but I don't know yet. The old cop car has a good system in it. I showed you it, but it's not here today because I'm not driving it. I'm driving a front or well, my dad's truck because uh, the cop car sent home. Uh, yeah, this is a good car. Uh, mean looking. It's the probably the I don't know. I like it. A lot of people don't like this year at Camaro. 
I do. I think it's neat. And for being a V6, I know it's 3-4 V6. Why didn't I get the V8? But I like the V6. The V6 gets better gas mileage than the V8. My hand's dirty. Uh, it's better gas mileage than the V8. The V6 still has a lot of power in this little thing. This thing will haul ass with the V6. I'd hate to know how much it haul ass with the V8. Uh, I could. I could get a... I want to get another one. Uh, a friend of mine's got one that's been wrecked. Uh, it's been... Uh, somebody hit him. And the rear's totaled. Except the axle's still good. Uh, whatever, they hit it and... Hit it and went up and crushed the roof, I think. I don't know how it is, but it's uh, it's all screwed up. Uh, the motor in it's only got 115,000 miles on it. It's V8, Z28 edition. Uh, and I could put that, I could put his entire drivetrain in this car and make it the V8, Z28, Z28 edition. Uh, yeah. It. I don't know if I want to do that because. I do like the gas mods V6 gets, which they don't really get that great, but they get okay. Uh, it's amazing how much glass there is in that window there. Uh, so once I get the window regulator in the window, I think I'm going to do a heater core now too. Because uh, it's not that hard. All you do is pull the uh, uh, glove compartment down and you get, can get in there and there's two hoses back there. Undo the hoses. Uh, yeah, I got a Pioneer system in it already, or well, Pioneer speaker, or not the Pioneer deck. That ding is starting to annoy me. Ugh. As you guys can see, here, go ahead and put that off, turn the key on here. As you guys can see. As you guys can see, I got a Pioneer deck. It's got a Sony Explodes uh, speakers all around, which they were. I put this in because the Sony that had it, it didn't work. I tried to get it to work, I couldn't. But it does have all new Sony speakers all around, and this is the Pioneer unit that was out of my blazer, and I put it here. I'm gonna get out of here. Oh yeah, I got the. I have the tents for the T tops, but they're not on right now. Uh, I built my own delete plates for the visors because the visors are getting that old uh, saggy look and stuff. So I built my own. I'm actually going to buy some. Uh, here's another problem in the interior. The uh, headliners fall in like they all are prone to do. Yeah. But other than that, it's a good car. Go ahead and shut the door here. Yeah, so it's a really good car. I don't know. It's going to be kind of expensive to drive for insurance-wise for me. So, I don't know. Uh, I got the... It does have the slits in the trunk for the T-tops to go down in. I think I'm going to put a system in. Because I do like how you can see the whole trunk of this car. I can put my system in. You'll see it. Except I don't really want it to get sold. So that's another disadvantage of it. Uh, but I'm going to do a few things to it. I'm going to make it a really nice car, get it running good, uh, get all the mechanical stuff done before I start putting, before I start worrying about systems and stuff. I threw that radio in because I had it and I already had it wired up for a Chevy pickup. So I threw it in here because the plug's the same as like a no, like a 99 through 02 Chevy pickup and stuff. So yeah, I was kind of amazed by that. But Plug her in. She works fine. Sounds good. Sound better when I get a system in it. I don't know how what I'm going to do with it. I don't know what kind of system I'm going to put in it. Uh, it's probably going to be a kicker. But there really is kind of limited space back here. I mean, there's not, but there is. I want to do... Uh, I want to actually do a Rossford, a Rossford Fosgate system because I've never done one. I've helped install quite a few. But... They sound good. Uh, kickers sound real good too. I could do a complete kicker system, do a total front to back uh, with a different deck, which I'll probably get a DVD player deck because it'd be cool in this. Uh, yeah, I'd like to put a body kit on it. I 
or a ground effects kit and a bigger wing, like the spoiler, bigger spoiler. Uh, they make the, I can't remember, was it the RS package, I think it was, that had that uh, body kit or the ground effects kit that looked really cool. Uh, I found a magazine, well, it was an old one, it's about back 2003, this company's out of business now, which is sad. Because you were able to buy the 35th anniversary stripes stickers that you could just put on this. And I was going to get those until I realized the company was out of business. But they also had the ground effects kit for the RS edition, or whatever the edition was. It had the ground effects kit for the front, the air dam. I was going to buy that too. Because they looked really neat. Uh, other than that, it's a good car. It, it runs good. I want to put uh, dual Flowmaster exhaust on it. Uh, except the V8s, or the V8s sound cool. They sound like the old pickups and stuff that really rumble. A V6 with uh, dual exhaust is not as cool. Because they, they're not a street race. Well, they don't sound like a street race. But wild pack of pissed off bumblebees, but they're close. Uh, my brother had a Grand Prix that had duals. And it had a 3800 in it. And it sounded a little bit, I don't know, it sounded cool with duals. I mean, they've got that really weird, it's, I don't know how... It's V8 sound minus two cylinders. That's pretty much it. Uh, it is a nice car, though. Uh, for 600 bucks, I don't think I did too bad. I could easily double my money. Uh, I got offered $2,500 for it the other day. Whip it not running, because a guy, he uh, had a uh, it's 96, I believe it was, Camaro. Uh, he pulled the motor out and had it sitting outside. He was rebuilding the engine to put back in it. Somebody came in his driveway and totaled and just ran into it and totaled the front of it. And there's no way he was going to be able to fix it because it bent the frame all up because there's no motor supporting that frame. Bent it all up and he was needing a body. I told him I'd think about it if I figured I had any more problems than that. Uh, but that's all I figured out. And I told him, yeah, I'll keep the offer in mind if I ever want to part with it. And his was the uh, four three or the three four two, except he's got a uh, his four three. He's put a lot of money in. He's put about I'd have to say at least eight grand into it. It's got a turbo. Uh, it I, he's done a lot of things to it. I couldn't tell you what he's done to it, but it is a fast motor. It's got a lot of horses compared to the stock. I think it's one sixty horse around there somewhere. Uh, compared to it, he's got like two, 280, I think, or something like that. I can't remember what he said. But this is a really nice car. Uh, eBay, I found some seat covers that go on these seats, and I found one that says uh, Camaro, Chevrolet Camaro, or it's got a Chevy symbol on the Camaro, and they're two-toned, and they run down the seat. So, yeah, I'm going to go home and uh, take a shower because it's kind of kind of dirty. Um, I hope... I have uh, can go over ten minutes on YouTube because then I can't post this video. I have to post parts. I think I think it's moved up to fifteen minutes now, so I got a few more minutes to be talking to you guys. But I've rambled on enough about it. Uh, it is a good car. It, a lot of you are probably wondering why that's there. Uh, it's got the shock thing that every uh, GM vehicle that had shocks that hold the hood up problem has. They've worn out, and they no longer support the hood. So I have to use this 2x4. Uh, I can get a set of these for 30 bucks. So I thought about it. I don't know yet. Depends. Uh, yeah, I'm going to head home and shower, and hopefully tomorrow I can get the parts, the gasket kits, and tune up to finish this. Hopefully I can get this finished. Uh, I've seen some clear ones of those. I like them. They look pretty neat. I do like these taillights, though. I don't know if I changed the taillights, because the taillights are pretty neat looking. Uh, it is in very good shape. Uh, yeah. I'll probably update the site, too, uh, and get rid of... Well, I'll leave all the cars. I'm going to add this one. I'm going to change up on a few things. Uh, I'm getting rid of the pickup. It's sitting out there, getting ready to be junked. Uh, the Blazer's sitting outside. I may do a video on it. To, because it's updated I might be selling the boat I did get it back I never told anybody I sold it or traded it for the blazer and I bought it back from the guy I traded it for for like 350 bucks 
because he was hurting for money. So, uh, I'm fast 50 minutes. So, see y'all later. Hope you have a good day. Uh, yeah, expect some more updates on this thing soon.